All right, welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, we will go over what is Eclipse and we will write our first Java program. First, before we proceed, I will give you one tip. I always try to keep Eclipse on my dock for easy accessibility. And if you're a Windows user, you can do the same by pinning your Eclipse to the taskbar. So let's go ahead and open our Eclipse. All right, so as soon as the Eclipse will get launched, you guys will end that up on the welcome screen. On this welcome screen, you guys will see some tutorials about our workbench and some news somewhere, uh, Eclipse Marketplace, which we don't really need to go into. The most important part for us to get to the workbench, and that's what I'm going to select. All right, so as soon as we end that up on our workbench, this is my view that I'm seeing. If you are not seeing any of those views, I'm going to show you different ways how to bring this view. So first of all, Project Explorer. What is the Project Explorer view? In here, you guys will see the view of all the projects that we will be creating throughout the course. On this window, this is our editor window. In here, we will be actually writing our Java code. And on our console view, this is the view that's going to show us the output of our program. If you open up your workbench and you don't see any of these videos, let's see, I'm going to close all of this. Let's say you open up and you see this white blank screen. So how can I bring those view to my workbench? In Eclipse, there's always multiple ways how the things works. So the first thing what we can do on the top right corner, you guys will see a search button. So just click in here and just type the view that you want to bring. Hey, I would like to view my Project Explorer here. As soon as you're going to click it, your Project Explorer window will come in here. Now also what I'm missing, I'm missing my console. Just click on the search, type console, right? Type console. There you go. Your console is coming up. This is my preferable view of Eclipse when I'm trying to do my work. Also, just wanted to make sure, guys, that you know that all these windows, they are movable, they are draggable. What do I mean by that? I can grab this window. I can move it here. I can move this window here, whichever way it will be comfortable for you guys to use it. You can move it any direction, you can close it, you can reopen it. Now let's see another way. Let me close these windows. Now let's say you forgot. You forgot what is the name of those views and you want to bring it back. So go ahead, just click on window and you will see on show view. And from here, just select here. What's, what view would you like to select? Project Explorer, right? And now also what I would like to bring, I would like to bring my console, the same thing. Click on this menu, navigate to window, select show view, and just search for console. If you guys not gonna see, just select other. And from here, just type console. And our suggestion will come, just click open. And from here, you guys can drag it to any location that is comfortable for you to view. And as I mentioned, this is my preferable view, how I like to keep the things, right? Okay, so this is where I'm going to see my project structure. This is, will be my editor, and that's where I'm going to see the output of my program. So to start our Java programming, the first thing what we'll have to create, we will have to create a Java project. And there's a multiple ways Eclipse provides you how to create your Java project. So the first, the most easiest way, you guys will see in here, it tells us create a Java project. Just click on here, you'll give it the name of the project and the finish button will be enabled. That's the first way. Second way, you can select the file from the menu, select file, new, Java project. This is the second way how we can create a project. And the third way, 
just click on this icon that has a plus button click on it and it will ask you hey what would you like to select you just select your Java project click on next so now what we will try to give we will try to give a name to our Java project for the naming conventions for our Java project we should start the name using upper case In my case what I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it Java and then basics so if you guys notice so my name consists of two words Java and basics in Java for the naming conventions when your name consists of two words every next word we will be start writing using the uppercase so Java is one word I started with the uppercase basics is another word I also started it with the uppercase and there's no spaces allowed to give a name for our Java project so this type of writing we call it as a camel casing from here you guys will also see hey what version of Java we will be using for our Java programming and by default the Java that you installed should be selected in our case it's 1.8 from here you don't need to change anything we'll just click on finish okay so now what happened we created our Java project how do you know it's a Java project it has a little J next to it if I'm gonna expand it from here you guys will see two modules one is GRE system library here what we have we have the entire Java code that we will be using to write our programs and in here you will see a little folder that shows with the name SRC okay so us as a programmers guys we will be writing something that called source code so whatever code we will be writing it should be inside this folder now if you're gonna expand this folder is empty so now during the programming what we would like to do we would like to organize our code think of it in the library the way the code is organized it all got organized by shelves so in our programming what we're gonna try to do we're gonna also try to organize our code to organize the code in Java what we will be using we'll be using something that is called packages so now how do we create the package let's select our source folder since we will be writing our source code we will write right click we'll select new and then we'll select the package right so now also for the packages the universal name for a package we give it should be reverse way of the URL let's say you have a URL like google.com facebook.com so if you're gonna try to place it in the reverse way it will be com.google com.syntax in our case so what we're gonna name it we'll name it as a let's say Java intro let's name it com dot Java intro Java intro okay don't select this checkbox we'll just click on finish right so we created the package to organize our code so now from this package what we'll be creating we will be creating a classes how do you create a class just select right click new and we'll select the class Java is a object oriented programming language we will learn in details what does it mean but for now just make sure you guys know any program that you will try to write in Java should be inside the class right and the naming convention for a class usually always starts with the uppercase and in our case as a standard way how everyone starts programming we're just going to name it as a hello world hello world right this is will be the name of my class and the name of your class guys 
also it can start with the lower case right but what's gonna happen we're gonna give a warning right it's just gonna tell us that by the naming convention the java classes usually start with the uppercase okay it's not a rule it's just the convention so now let's change it to the uppercase and as of now what we're going to select we're going to select a main method also later in details you guys will learn what every single keyword of this means for now just select this let's click on finish all right so now what we have got in here we got our editor view so in here we will be writing our actual java code and in our console view we will see the output of our program so this is the main three windows views that you guys need if you see any other additional windows you can just simply close them for now all right so now to make sure that you guys doing the putting the code in the right places always make sure guys class is always this is the entry point of your coding any code that you will be writing must be inside the class our class has an opening bracket and it has a closing bracket if you open the class using opening bracket you have to make sure you close it think of it think of the class as a building okay so now in order for us to enter the building what we should have we should have a main entrance our main entrance is a door it's an entrance to our program in in java how do we specify this main door we specify it using a main method to enter into our main method we also should have opening and the closing door so now any code that you guys will be writing you have to make sure this code belongs inside the main method it cannot be outside of the main method it cannot be outside of the class once again any code that will be writing should stay inside the main method all right and the first code that we're gonna write we're just gonna write hello world to show any output in our console what we will have to type we will have to type system then we'll type our dot then there is some auto populated suggestion will come we'll type out then we'll type print line and parentheses in the parentheses using double quotes we can type any word any sentence you want in our case what we would like to print we would like to print hello world right so as soon as you're done with your program okay so what we will have to do we will have to save it eclipse provide us two different ways of saving our program we have save and we have save all as of now we just wrote one class so we can just easily select save later in our programming we will be writing multiple classes and my high suggestion is always try to use save all just to be safe i'm going to click save all now what we can do as soon as you complete your program what we can do we can execute it to execute your program eclipse also provides you two different ways how can you execute your program you just can select right click using your mouse and we're gonna select run option okay run Java application okay make sure you guys don't select coverage don't select debug make sure you select run and your program will get executed and the output of our program where it can be viewed it can be viewed in our console window this is the first way how to run or how to execute your program the second way you guys will see here a run button so if you're gonna hover over you will see the option run and just click on it there you go so our program got executed thank you for watching and we'll see you next time